Nobody too cool. You big homie Rob, you know what it is. It's Rob Markman on Twitter. Send all your hate, man. You know how we do it. Seen you come out of Pittsburgh. Chevy Woods always by your side. But you're building the team now. Absolutely. Uh, the team just consists of um, what has motivated me um, to get to this point and what I see taking me into the future. Not me personally, but just, um, you know, I feel like my spirit is worldwide and we all share the same spirit. It's a cohesive thing, but the focus is still, you know, getting my, my, my thing out there and to, um, and to have people understand, like, this is what we're bringing, this is the world that we're creating. And it doesn't exist without all of us, you know? You said a lot. I'm going to translate just for the people. That phone been ringing. <laughs> they they want to know who who could get up with hell again, right? I mean, I, I'm at, listen, I imagine these labels is really throwing some things at you right now for your business mind as well as your artistry. I don't know how to say it. We don't have shit. You know what I'm saying? When we start out, we don't have shit. So we really make do with what we have. And in turn, that turns into like million dollar corporations. But what labels don't have is that, that mind frame and that spark that makes that million dollar. You know what I'm saying? They know how to uh, manifest that and make more millions off of that, but they don't have that spark. Recently, you, you wrote a letter to your fans. And it was about um, four or five paragraphs. And um, about two sentences said, rolling papers, you know, maybe I would have done it different. Honestly, that was just me being um, real with myself and real with my fans. You know, rolling papers was like a, a learning experience, just like everything else was. And um, me getting with a label and trying new things, like I say, I'm not a stubborn person. So I'll work with different people. I'll write different records that people may say that they like. You know what I'm saying? So you got to try different things. You got to do different things. But um, when you talk about longevity, you can't base that on one year or six months or eight months or anything like that. So um, really, I was just speaking to anybody who's riding with me for the long run and who's looking for the next thing for me to do. I mean, I think Cushion Orange Juice obviously is, is is the one that that broke you, like you know, what I'm saying to the consciousness, so people expect that from you. So so it feels like almost homage to that, but next level, like the the the, the beat by Space Goes Perp, like takes it next level. You know, the way he's sledging, changing the sound a little bit, taking next level, production wise, and then you take it. No, I'm glad I'm glad you fuck with it, and that's what it's all about. Is taking it to the next level, elaborating on what we've done. Because a lot of people have, um, they've elaborated on what we've done. And you know, in the tabloids, so that's another pressure. So it's the business, it's the celebrity, and then you still gotta make the same music that you used to make? Yeah, I mean like, you know, what inspired me back then is the same shit that inspires me now. And it's just life. You know, like what I hear, what I see. I'm really sensitive to everything that goes on around me. I'm pretty sure he likes my music. <laughs> he might. I mean, if you he like, if you like, he's aware of it. We know that. If you like rap music, <laughs> if you like hard stuff, like you know what I'm saying. I can't deny. It. So you're not a pop rapper. I said nah. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> pop rapper. <laughs> I'll pop up and make five million dollars, nigga. <laughs> How's that feel, man? Like, you know, you know, when you think of those, you think of the Jay-Z's, the Diddy's, and, you know, Master P back in when he was really, really getting it. Now, you know, you didn't rank. Number 11 is a nice yeah, place that's to land. Cool. That's, and I did that on accident. You dripped and just fell. Like, nah, know? for real. I didn't <laughs> even do that on purpose, bro. Like, I'm not even stunned. So imagine when I start trying. I know people in Pittsburgh might be like, well, he's not from the Berg. And then, you know, young rappers might be like, well, he's a veteran, Sean, a young guy. And you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody kind of seems to have an opinion on, on, on. We grew, we all, we all grew up on motherfucking 3-6 in Pittsburgh. And anybody who don't understand it or don't see it, it's just because they, like, they, 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 they aren't meant to. 
They aren't built. They don't have the fucking mind capacity to understand that this motherfucker uh, influenced everything that I do up to this point. Like, you know what I'm saying? As far as songwriting, as far as motherfucking beat selection, as far as all of that shit. We be in the clubs with all the motherfuckers. And we spend more money than all of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas who be thinking they hard and they think they motherfucking is that. Uh, yeah. 30 racks, bitch. You know what I'm saying? On champagne. Motherfucker. Keep them sparklers coming. What you doing? And them niggas be over there, they be quiet. You know what I'm saying? So they can't. Like, that's why Juicy's with us, nigga. Because we spent 30 racks in the club. I don't like to say I because, like, we're a collective, like, Sledger makes the beats, like, fucking Cardo or Germ does the engineering, or me and Chevy sit around and talk about shit and come up with shit. We made it comfortable for a lot of people to do, like, what they doing and feel cool, like, doing that shit. Uh, so what we gonna do with this mixtape is, like, really just turn it around and, like, step that up. Like, for real, these niggas got it fucked up, dog. like... I came straight from Pittsburgh last year, and now I'm up there with like, you can't not put me up there with like big niggas names. Like, they count me out of the little niggas names because I'm not with the little niggas. Nah, man, we always gonna be the same. You know what I'm saying? They always gonna look at us the same, and they always gonna look at us like, we ain't supposed to be there. Well, I mean, why'd you do that? Is it, is it like, how, how does that fall in line with your whole ideology of being the tailor? Um, you know, tailors do what they want to do. That's 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 the ideology about it. And just like for me personally, it's like um, I prided myself on like doing things that were different and kind of like unacceptable and weird. You know what I'm saying? So when I start seeing things become the norm, I kind of stray away from that. We getting ratchet, right? Yeah. Let's get ratchet. How do you resolve that? There is no resolution. These, these people, they, they resolve it within themselves because they're, they're not really mad at me. They want what I got. It's Rob Mark, man. You already know what it is, you know. Me and Cap go back. You know what I mean? Tell all the dice. It's just getting started. When IFC is next, the gang album, Chevy Woods, Gangland. Juicy J got like four mixtapes that he just ready to drop on you. Keep moving and moving.